Yes guys, what's going on? It's Ned once again for Pro Direct Soccer and today we're at Pro Direct LDN 19 for the finals of the Search for Speed. You are our six fastest footballers that we found across the whole of London. So firstly, big up to yourself for qualifying. Today on the line, all expenses paid to the World Cup final for you and a friend as well. Before we get started with the trial today, we've got a very special guest come down, Jody Morris. He's been there, done it all. He's going to get you guys ready and prepared for the final as well. Today's challenge obviously is all about speed. Has the game got a lot faster, do you think, as well? Yeah, no, I definitely think it has. I, I think the, the stats are there to prove that. If we had all the available technology back then, um, I think you'd see an, a massive gap of high speed runs and how you can cover distance, changing direction. Um, as quick as they do nowadays, which is going to be big for you guys today, I'm sure. As I said, everybody's improving technically and uh, physically, so it's it's moving with the times. So we've got a lot of young players here today. Some of these guys are in our academy, still looking to try and make it in the game as well. Um, what is the best bit of advice you can give to like young players at the moment, and what makes players stand out for you at the moment? Um, do you know what the best bit of advice that I, I still say to all our boys now is never ever waste an opportunity, and and by an opportunity I mean like if you get an opportunity to train or play or play a game in front of anybody, whenever it is, always treat it as if it could be your last last attempt, last opportunity to make something happen. You can always improve, you can always listen to good advice and you can always keep yourself in the best shape possible. So straight away, they've hit you with a little surprise that there's no balls, which is always a little bit of a nightmare because we all want to play football and show a little bit of techers. But what I would say to you, looking at the course, would be one, you need to make sure the first one, if there's any sort of things that you're seeing at turn-ins or corners, you need to see if you can get those done because then you need to make your adjustments. Like in anything, whether you're playing football or whatever you want to do in life, you need to be able to get over literally the obstacles there by not knocking them over, but then making sure that you can make adjustments for the next one. The second and third is where I think if someone's first effort here is the fastest, I'll be very surprised. But as I said, you've got three attempts and as I said, you've got to make your adjustments as they as they go along and give it your all because we all know we want to go and watch the World Cup final, don't we? Yeah. All the best, chaps. All the best. Go. I've got to say I really enjoyed the competition and the last round ended up being the most exciting which I thought was going to happen but it was no, great. All of them are quick, um, it was just about making small adjustments and some are a little bit more advantage than the others, the big boys, it was difficult because of the, the long strides and stuff, but I thought they all made adjustments. They all got quicker as the, the event went on that shows that they were taking on board information. So to be able to go to a World Cup final at any point in your life is something that you should always treasure and to, to be able to take a mate as well to such a prestigious event is fantastic. It's amazing really, everyone's supporting, I tried my best, it was, it was crazy. I looked at the competition, they looked good, like very, very good. I thought they, they could probably beat me and stuff, but I mean, yeah, I tried my best. I kept trying to beat my high score. It was, it was nerve-wracking, there was a lot of people, a lot of people were watching, but I tried to like do it as fast as I can, as quick as I can, I just thought speed, speed, speed. Guys, it's Jürgen, and I'm London's fastest. That's it guys, the search for speed is over. Over 500 participants down to one winner, and it will be Jürgen who heads out to the World Cup final in Moscow. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.